Hello students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss an important topic and that is the human teeth. All right. So as you can see on your screen, the model of the human teeth. All right. So we will be discussing about its type of dentition, then about the types of teeth which are found in case of human's oral cavity. And we will have all the discussions that are related with the teeth along with the dental formula. So let's just start with its description part first. Now, so when we talk about human teeth, then teeth is a component of oral cavity. All right. So they are considered to be as a component of oral cavity. Now, this, you know, human teeth, these are such hard structures which are primarily meant for biting, cutting and tearing of food. All right. So we know that these are actually the hard structures whose function is to bite. Then it's cutting and tearing of food. All right. Now, each tooth, like for example, if I isolate or if I drag this component, all right, or I move out this component or this tooth. So individually, they are considered to be as tooth. All right. So individually, they are considered to be tooth. So each tooth is actually embedded in the socket of the jawbone. And this type of attachment is considered to be thecodont. All right. So, and such type of dentition is considered to be as thecodont. So, remember this. All right. So, such type of attachment is considered to be as thecodont. Now, you know, Mammals, like for example, humans, if we consider humans, so humans actually have thecodont type of dentition. Along with that, humans have two types of teeth in their entire life cycle. And that's why humans are considered to have the diffeodont type of dentition. All right. So humans have diffeodont or we can consider it to be as diphyodont. So they have diphyodont dentition. Now what do you mean by this diphyodont dentition? Diphyodont means having two sets of teeth in their entire life. So this diphyodont dentition basically means having two sets of teeth in their entire life cycle. So the first set of teeth is called as temporary teeth or we can consider it to be as milk teeth or as deciduous teeth and the second one is considered to be as permanent teeth which is for entire lifetime so this is called permanent teeth so this is about the diphyodont dentition so basically an adult is usually proposed to have the four different types of teeth. First of all, I'll tell you that the teeth are usually arranged in two jaws. All right. So this one, this entire composition is considered to be as upper jaw. So this is representing the upper jaw and this one is representing the lower jaw. All right. So the teeth are arranged in basically two jaws, upper jaw and lower jaw. All right. So I'll just draw a figure also over here, a sample figure like this. So this is being represented by upper jaw and this is lower jaw. All right. Now, this upper and lower jaw, they have the presence of four different types of teeth in them. 
so if we consider half of the upper jaw if we are going to consider half of the upper jaw like this here also if we consider so if you are going to bifurcate over here so from it will be here to here like this and it will be here to here so as i already told you that an adult is having four different types of teeth an adult human has four types of teeth all right now what are those incisors which is represented by i then canines which is represented by c then premolars which is represented by pm and the fourth one is molars which is represented by m so these are the four different types of teeth which are present in case of human adult and that's why they are known to have this heterodont dentition since they are having four types of teeth so that's why they are considered to be having heterodont dentition the entire uh, details of the content of the teeth has been provided in the description section of the video link so heterodont dentition since it is having four different types of teeth so if we just mention these four types of teeth in the below diagram if you will see it all right we will see it individually also but we will first see that how it is individually being represented so from here it is incisor then here comes the canines and here the premolars and the last one are molars so just like here also here will be the incisor then canines then premolars and molars so this is incisor then canines then premolars and then molars so here incisor then canines then premolars and then here molars all right so we will be seeing now individually why i have drawn this in order to make you people understand that how they are actually arranged in order to show you that the arrangement of all the four different types of teeth is in proper and equal manner both in the upper jaw as well as the lower jaw as well all right now we will see that how these incisor canines premolars and molars are actually arranged so let me just show you so let me shift this model in the center and see we know that in case of human teeth if we consider and if you are considering it as adult human teeth there are a total of 32 teeth all right so in case of this 32 teeth 16 arranged in upper jaw and 16 is arranged in lower jaw all right let me just tell the figure a little bit now we can just number it as well like for example if we start from here like from the molar section if you are going to start so it is 1 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 This one is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. But just like that, only the lower jaw is also having sixteen teeth. So upper and lower jaw they make up total of thirty-two teeth. So let me just show you that how these you know teeth are. individually arranged in each half of the upper and lower jaw because with that part only we are going to discuss the dental formula so let me just slice out the half portion that means half teeth that means if the upper jaw is having 16 teeth so we are only going to have 8 teeth all right like this because we will be now discussing about the dental formula all right like this now the arrangement 
of teeth in each half of the upper as well as in the lower jaw in the order of incisor then canines then premolars and then molars is represented by dental formula so that's why i have to convert this entire 32 teeth into each half of the upper jaw so this which you can see on your screen this is half of the portion of the upper jaw and half of the portion of the lower jaw because we have already seen that the total upper and lower jaw they will be having 32 number of teeth but now as you can see like for example if you can just count it out so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is showing that it is having each half of the upper jaw and the lower jaw so that's why it is only eight teeth all right now we were discussing about dental formula so in case of dental formula the dental formula it is for the cases of both temporary teeth as well and for the adult teeth as well so the dental formula is for temporary teeth also which is found in case of babies and it is also for permanent teeth as well this is in case of adult human and this is usually in case of babies if we say so the temporary teeth they are having the dental formula of 2 1 0 all right and 2102 so this 2102 by 2102 is representing the upper jaw and the lower jaw all right so this is represented by upper jaw this represents upper jaw and this represents half of the lower jaw since we are dealing here each half so half of the lower jaw and we have already seen that the arrangement will be in the form of this one. That means 2, 1, 0, 2 is individually and respectively going to indicate incisor, canines, premolars and molars. So this shows that in case of babies or in case of temporary teeth, the premolars are absent. There are no premolars present. All right. So if we just calculate it, then 2102 will make up a total of 5 teeth in the upper jaw and 5 teeth in the lower jaw. But since we have taken here only half, so if we just multiply it by 2, then it is going to make up 10. 10 in the upper jaw, 10 in the lower jaw. Then the dental formula and the total number of teeth comes out to be 20 in case of the temporary teeth in man or the babies. So, temporary teeth in case of man is considered to be as 20 in number. Now, we will see that what about the dental formula in case of human beings. So, if we consider DF which means dental formula in case of human beings, that means for permanent teeth if you are going to consider human beings and that is permanent teeth. So, in this case, the formula turns out to be 2, 1, 2, 3 by 2, 1, 2, 3. So, if we just more accurately point it out, then this is incisor, this is canine, this one is premolar and this represents molar. So, they will make up a total of 8. So, as I already mentioned, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so 8 in the upper half jaw and 8 in the lower half jaw. But if you are going to take up together, it will make a total of 16. So that's why the dental formula, the total number of teeth in case of human beings turns out to be 32.
So this is about the dental formula in case of human teeth. Now we will individually see that how they are actually arranged. All right, now see. So for this, let me just bring the model in the center. These two are representing the incisors or incisors we can say. All right, which is two. Then this one is representing canine, which is one. These two are representing three molars, which are three. And these three, they are representing the molars. Premolars are two in number. And molars are three in number. So that's how they make up a total of two, one, two, three. So, you know, each of these teeth, that means incisors, canine, premolars and molars, just like uh, in the upper half, in case of the lower half also, they are exactly arranged like that only. All right. And all these four types of teeth, that means incisor, canine, premolars and molars, they have different functions. They perform different functions. All right. Like, for example, if I say the function of incisors, then these incisors, they are actually meant for cutting off food. These canines, they are meant for tearing of food. So they exactly perform the same function as that of the incisors only. So meant for tearing of food. Premolars are meant for grinding of food. So this is for grinding of food. And molars are meant for also grinding of food. So crushing and grinding of food. So these are the functions of the four different types of teeth that are found in case of adult human. All right. Now in totality, if you are going to consider, like for example, if we consider the total number of incisors, canine, premolars and molars, including both the upper jaw and the lower jaw. So let me just bring the entire model together. So like this. So if you are going to see the entire teeth in adult human, incisors are 8 in number, canines are 4 in number, premolars are 8 in number and molars are 12 in number. So this shows that molars are greater in number. Now, you know, the surface of these teeth are actually covered by one of the hardest substance of the body and that is called enamel. This enamel only helps in the mastication of food. So when we consider the surface of teeth is covered by enamel. And enamel is considered to be as one of the hardest substance of body. Which helps in mastication of food. And the element which is actually responsible for hardening the tooth enamel is the fluorine. All right. So this enamel is actually hardened because of fluorine. So this was all about the teeth description. And so we have seen what are the types of dentition that are found in case of human teeth. That means thecodon dentition, then diphyodon dentition, then heterodon dentition, then the types of teeth which are present in the oral cavity, then also about the dental formula and about the enamel. All right. So this was all about human teeth. Thank you.